Let's go to the phone lines now and speak to Dr. Eric Opoku. He's a political communications expert uh, with the University of Cape Coast in the Central Region. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, good afternoon, and I'm happy to join you. Thank you. Uh, to start with, what do you make of the issues regarding uh, the um, emolument for former presidents, specifically the fact about the house or the residence of the president? Is it out of order for the president to write to the current administration to say that this particular house where I have stayed during my period, I want to stay there. Is anything untoward with that? Um, mm, thank you very much. I, I think I find it um, a little surprising, uh, especially um, if you look at the uh, recommendations uh, or the report by the uh, 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 the Rwanda committee, mm -hmm. then really the president, as you rightly indicated, is supposed to be given a, a percentage of his um, salary to take care of his um, accommodation. Mm -hmm. And if you calculate, it's around 9,000 um, uh, Ghana cities. So if that is what is contained, uh, that has been recommended by the Rwanda committee, then I'm surprised the um, our Ghana administration still asking for the president to um, keep permanently his official residence when he was vice president. I, I clearly do not understand because I remember very well that the, what was contained in the Chinua Hesse Committee uh, report uh, that uh, uh, President uh, Kufo should have uh, an official residence uh, at one um, building in Accra and mm. another in any um, place he uh, of in the his country choice he chooses, was yeah. not fulfilled by the new administration. What I want to say is that uh, I, I, I was thinking strongly that uh, since uh, uh, um, a committee was set up to uh, decide on the emolument of uh, these uh, category of officials, then they were going to go strictly to what is contained there in the report. But to ask for anything outside that, um, that oh, I don't think it sits well. Okay, but uh, in, in this case where we clearly know that the president is being given an amount of money uh, as part of what he'll be using to pay his rent if he should get an accommodation, and the fact that he also says that he wants this particular uh, edifice, should that amount of money that was supposed to be given to him as rent be withdrawn then, since the accommodation is being provided by the state? I, 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 I do, not want to, do not want to agree with that. The recommendation by this committee did not indicate that the president should be given a house. You know, this committee, particular committee, the past, the head decision which was established in the Chinese report, Mm. That the president, our green president, should have two houses and all of it. They decided that no, the president shouldn't be given a house, but should rather be given a certain percentage of his salary. And I think that should be found out to wait. This okay. is standard. Okay. Imagine if uh, Namadu is leaving office and a uh, committee sits down to come out with a report and make a fine recommendation. And I, say, I do not want this. But I rather want a, a helicopter to be given to me for my transportation. Um, how, how are you going to go forward as a mm. to be able to fulfill all the different um, requirements? All right. Going president. Right. Uh, Doc, thank you very much. But just before you go, what are your expectations? Mm. What should um, Nana Dodanko Kufuado's first day in office be like um, taking over the reins of uh, governance in the country? I think that it is, it is, it is clearly. Um, um, uh, it will clearly be a familiarization of okay. his office because first day you cannot really do anything. I think that he, ha he has a difficult task of getting to know a uh, probably true executive summary of all the different reports which the uh, uh, transitional um, team is going to finish his office. And mm. I think first day will simply be a familiarization. I think we should be uh, thinking about uh, weeks uh, by which would have had a clear idea of what exactly he is going to do from the, the right from the beginning of the circle. I think it's early days, early days. Okay. Yes.
We are grateful for your time, Dr. Eric um, Opoku, for joining us on TV 